Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Thanks so much for tuning in. That's interesting. Let's try this. Yesterday did not go as planned. Good morning from my house to yours or wherever it is that you are right now. I'm really excited because we're continuing on with our fun fall festive content. <laughs> And I'm having a lot of fun. So this morning, we're gonna be making something that, oh my gosh, I can hardly wait till it's done cooking and I get to eat it. But we're gonna be making like an interesting variation of fall festive pumpkin pancakes. And honestly, I don't think I've ever had pumpkin pancakes in my life, so it's gonna be a new experience for me, as well as, I don't know how they're gonna turn out, honestly, because I love buckwheat flour pancakes. Like, I can't even, I mean, okay, I would adopt to the situation if I was somewhere, someone was making regular pancakes, I would probably eat them and enjoy them, but for me, if I'm making pancakes or if there's an option, I'm gonna be telling people, let's have buckwheat pancakes. Like, for me, they're just the most delicious pancakes. I love them. I don't even really think I care much for other type of pancakes. There is something about the flavor and the, it's just incredible to me. I love buckwheat pancakes. So needless to say, we're going to be making pumpkin buckwheat pancakes. <laughs> and I don't know how all those flavors are going to come together. So we're really just going to have to see, all right? It's an experiment. <laughs> and I hope it's going to be amazing because I love buckwheat. And then besides the pancakes, um... I know we're doing, I don't know, the world is our oyster today. I don't know everything that we're gonna get into, but I do know that tomorrow we're gonna be doing something really cool that I just stumbled upon. Uh, I think it was Facebook recommended it to me or something, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks really cool. And then I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna be in that area tomorrow. Like, wow, what are the odds? Cause it's like three hours away from me. I only go to this area for one specific thing, uh, Dublin. And the thing that's very Halloween, that just looks so cool, is uh, in Livermore, like 12 minutes away. So it's amazing, it's meant to be, and we're gonna go check this really cool thing out. But for now, let's make our breakfast. I ripped the thing off and uh, it like ripped off to to above it. What the hell? I haven't used this in a while and I'm hoping it's baking powder. I don't quite remember. It might be baking soda, but I want it to be baking powder. <laughs> Either way, we'll survive. only spatula that I have and it's like this little camping spatula it folds it's the perfect little camping one it folds and then you open it and it's like this <laughs> little tiny spatula that's what we're using oh yes well guys I've got to say I'm not quite thrilled about the shape of these I'll try to do better in the next batch <laughs> second round is definitely way better but it's this it's tricky to flip them with this because it's so small I need to get a bigger spatula for pancakes and stuff and then when I was like trying to flip it it was like this was coming out and that was like bending and I'm like oh my gosh 
So I think all things considering, these are coming out really good. The second ones are more circular and I'm just so excited. I've never, I'm excited to try these. These are different, different pancakes than I've ever had. I mean, it's so cute. <laughs> Wow, if they all look like those, we'd have a nice little stack, but the first batch was a little, uh, <laughs> I have this beautiful little stack here. I think it actually turned out pretty cute, pretty good, all things considering. So let's try it while it is still warm. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love buckwheat. Wow, they're quite light and fluffy. That's incredible. Got the good buckwheat flavor in there. Yes, I'm into these, you guys. I would recommend them. I'm weird, I think, in that I like them, like, a little bit more dense, actually. Like, I maybe even could have done without the um, baking powder. <laughs> but I think most people like light, fluffy pancakes, so... And the other thing is I was trying to do a return at Walmart and they wouldn't let me return the thing I wanted to return, which has never happened to me at Walmart before. It's fascinating. But anyways, I'm close to Target. So what we're gonna do, if you saw that last video about the eggs and about Target, it has been, what, going on a week? <laughs> Did they uh, restock the eggs? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I went into Target one day to get something and I saw my favorite eggs there and I was like, oh my goodness, they're carrying my favorite eggs. Not only that, but they were the best price I've ever seen them at because they were on sale. So I bought a carton and I went back there a few days later and I was gonna get another one and they were out. And then I went back again with you guys in a video and they were still out and I'm like what the hell are they gonna seriously wait until the sale is over to restock today is October 25th the sale ends uh, November 2nd so we're gonna go try again today because we're so close and they better freaking have the eggs. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go back again before it's all over if they don't have them today. And literally, if they freaking wait to restock those eggs till the sale is over, I'm gonna piss and moan and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> but let's see, what if they have them today? That would be very cool. And then another thing, I need water. I'm looking at Winco right now. I've never got, I've never filled up my water at Winco, but I've seen that they have a thing. So since I'm right here, I guess I'll just go there after we check out Target for those eggs. Those dang eggs. Oh. 
What do you think? You think they're gonna have them? I'm skeptical. By the way, as you can see, I have my Uggs on. I've had these forever. They're amazing. I still love them and uh, it's definitely fall. Wow, guys, so they have them and they also, this is a different package. They changed the packaging. It was like this used to be all more that color. It actually, they did a good job. It looks nice, but uh, they have them, they have them. Oh my goodness, they have them. Wow, so I'm learning a lesson right now in this moment, or like it's a repetitive lesson, but like, I was skeptical and there was no point. I was judging before I even knew. I should have just said, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see, you know? Guys, I'm actually getting two. I eat a good amount of eggs and uh, the one, the other ones, they're like $11. And these are eight, so much better price. Even though $8, I know that's still pricey for eggs. Wow, guys, we got a boon today. They rang up at 7.49, so they were even cheaper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good thing we got two. You might be thinking, so what, you're skeptical, who cares? What are you talking about? And yeah, I agree with that. So what, I was skeptical, who cares? But, if you're working to maintain your internal peace at all times, regardless of external situations, and working to be in the present moment more, having thoughts and ideas about a future circumstance that isn't even a reality yet, takes you out of that present moment awareness. So that is the whole thing. I hope that makes sense. Anywho, let us get over to Winco and get our freaking water. I'm inside Winco. <laughs> well, Winco officially has the cheapest water refill at 40 cents a gallon. The other places that I go are either 45 cents a gallon or uh, 50 cents a gallon. <laughs> so for five gallons, it was $2 at 40 cents a gallon. That's the cheapest price. I hope it's a really high quality water filter station. I'd rather pay more for a higher quality of the water, you know? I need spring water in my life. <laughs> I miss it so much. It's been a long time since I've had my fresh well, I got some in Spain, a little bit. I think I gotta take a trip and fill these bad boys up with some spring water. Yeah. It's 77 degrees and I'm actually dying <laughs> with my Uggs and this is cashmere. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. It's fall, but it's, I'm feeling very hot right now. I'm such a weirdo like this purchase has been a couple years in the making I'm not even kidding you I've wanted one but I've been like I don't really need one I have a Nutribullet which is like a little blender and it can really froth things so if I need things frothy I was just using that and I was like I have this I don't need that this works for that purpose but it's not as convenient and then I don't end up using it, you know. I'd probably use this thing a lot more and it's not very expensive and it's just a little thing, but you know, the way I was raised, like I didn't really have a lot of stuff. I had like in terms of toys even and stuff like that, like I had some, a few precious things, but we didn't go overboard. Like I didn't have an abundance of things like a lot of my friends did 
or like my cousins did. That just wasn't our reality. I never wanted for anything really. Like I understood how it was and I didn't really have an issue with it, but like I would get like one or two toys or have like one really beautiful doll, you know, one really high quality thing versus like a bunch, an explosion of lots of things as well as, you know, we just didn't really have a lot of money growing up. So, but I really never wanted for nothing. Like I always had my needs met. I feel so fortunate compared to so many people in the world. Um, it's making me feel emotional because I have what a lot of people would consider like not that much. Even now, like the age that I'm at, people should have a lot more than I do, but I feel really fortunate for what I do have because I know that so many people in this world still today in 2024 have so much less. And even as a kid, I know that there are kids with so much, like I was so blessed even though it's much less than other people. But anyways, all right, so, and then I'm such a weirdo for this thing too because I read reviews, okay? So I was reading reviews on these on Amazon and one person, they have different colors. So I wanted to get the pink one. Did I even say what I'm talking about? They're re rechargeable hand frothers, you know, for like drinks and stuff because I gotta cool it with the going to the cafes all the time for now. Even I'm, I'm transitioning away from drinking coffee all the time, getting back into, well, I want to get back, I haven't yet, but my plan is to get back into the matcha and uh, yeah, go to cafes more. I gotta cool it with the cafes. Even if I was going there to get the matchas, just occasionally as a treat, or maybe if I need a different work environment than working at home, you know? go to a cafe. But anyways, I was reading reviews because I do deep dives of reviews. I'm a big review reader. And one person said that they got two. They got the pink one and the black one. And they turned out to be different lengths. And the pink one was longer, like a longer shaft thing. And they're like, the, the black one, the shorter one works really good. Uh, I don't know which one you're going to get. This was their review. I don't know which one you're going to get. But if you get the short one, you'll probably be happy. If you get the longer one, it doesn't work as good. So I'm like, oh, what should I do? Should I just go with the black one or should I take a chance and go with the pink one? But if I only get the pink one, I won't even know if it's the shorter or longer one really. So I had to order both so that I could see. So right now, what we are about to do is unveil these. They're both green in the package, but on the back it says what they are. Um, we're gonna unveil and see. I didn't know, I read a lot. It took me a while to pick which one of these frothers I was actually gonna get. And what I really wanted was a rechargeable one, not one with batteries. And I was actually gonna get this other one. Uh, but by the time I was gonna get it, like I put it in my cart, I came back a few hours later and the price went up $5. And I'm like, I'm not playing that game. I'm not getting you. See what that did? Yeah, made it so I went to another company. Anyways, let's open these and see what is going on here. Okay, here they are. Well, they're the same size. <laughs> so that's interesting. <laughs> they are both the same size. So actually, I'm gonna give this one to um, a friend of mine. These were like really the most inexpensive one where I was reading reviews and people were like, these are really good. So hopefully that is the case because I want a good one, you know, that's gonna actually froth my stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have any milk here or I would try it out, but there's one thing I don't like about it already and it's that this has a little lip and this doesn't have a stand. So what I'm wanting to do is to just, you know, stand up where I can just have it on my counter like that. But because there is a ledge here, it like doesn't sit flush on the table and it kind of leans. So I want to file that down, actually. That's my plan, is to just file it down because I don't need it to have that lip. I can just 
open this without that there. That's a design flaw, especially if you're not gonna sell it with a stand and then it does, that's ridiculous. So I don't like that about it at all, but uh, if it whisks my stuff good, I can live with it and file it down. And then this one, I'm actually gonna go visit my friend soon who just had a birthday. And I know that he likes to make homemade matchas and I know that he does it without a whisk thing. So hopefully these work good because <laughs> I wouldn't want to give him one that doesn't work good. But anyways, I have the same one, so it should be all right. It only has one speed too. It's like not a fancy one, but I just want one that like works good, makes lots of froth. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm currently on a walk and it's 6.45 and I see the glow of the sunset in front of me and it's so dark. It's crazy the transition from summer to fall. Like it was getting dark at like 10 p.m. or later. Like it was nuts. Now it's like uh, soon it's gonna be like 4 30 p.m. it's gonna be like pitch black no i love the long days of summer like just the best uh, but this is wonderful weather look at me i'm walking in my cashmere little shirt thing and i'm feeling very comfortable and wonderful in uh in summer i had to wait till like 2 a.m to go on a walk <laughs> That might be a slight exaggeration, but like midnight, seriously, just to go on a walk. So it was so deathly hot out. Wow, I just walked past this brewery. I didn't even know it was there. Like, had no idea. That's crazy. Well, my friends, it's the next day. And today I had very different plans than what actually ended up happening. Right now I'm headed down somewhere. I'm going to do something really cool for myself. And then we were going to do something really cool that I was super excited to share with you guys that I even mentioned and talked about towards the beginning of this video. But I'll explain a little bit more about this a little bit later. But plans did end up changing and I didn't quite get to do everything that I had planned on doing. guess what <clears throat> it's time the pancakes were all right <laughs> uh, I think I could have cooked them for a little bit longer they were like kind of mushy I don't know I wanted them more like firm and dense but the pumpkin puree I don't know they were actually better the last time I made them with the baking powder <laughs> I thought I would enjoy them better without it but anyways let's try this Oh my heavens, I'm excited. And dude, yesterday did not go as planned. <laughs> it was supposed to be way different for the sake of going to this awesome place and showing you this awesome thing, but it didn't happen. And uh, I'll explain why. So if you've been f keeping up with all my videos and stuff, you'll know that I was volunteering for this uh, little spiritual group. Um, this wonderful ma was having like satsangs, gatherings where she would speak and then she would do this uh, meditation transmission. And so she stopped doing the public events, but she was, she invited me to come for in-person ones at her condo, at her place. So very intimate. I've gone twice so far and it's just been me and one other person and like her main person, her main helper and stuff. So it's, for me, just feels like the most wonderful, special thing ever. And then yesterday was a surprise. I didn't know like everything. Oh my gosh, it was just amazing. So I went there and it was just me, one other person and Chris, her main dude. 
and um, as I was walking in the door, Chris was like, so today after the satsang, after the meditation, uh, Ma's gonna go rest and then after that, we're gonna have lunch here and stuff. And I was like, oh, we're gonna have lunch here because he messaged me and he said that we were gonna grab lunch and I just assumed it was just gonna be me and him going to grab lunch to talk about stuff, um, maybe talk about my role in helping volunteer and helping with Ma and stuff. That's just what I assumed, but turns out Ma was going to join us and that she prepared a wonderful meal and everything. And I was just like, wow, that's so wonderful. So we ended up having that wonderful meal after, and then we ended up just sitting and talking and by the time it was time to leave, it was like 7.30, which wasn't that late. So the thing that I was gonna go to, did I even tell you it was gonna be this amazing haunted house that is in Livermore that this woman puts together every year and it's like a effort of love and it's free and it's this whole house and they do like this huge thing. Apparently I've never been, but it looked amazing. But by the time we were over, it was like, just the the vibes and the energy of being in that space with Ma and the meditation and everything, it was just so powerful for me that I just felt like I need to just go home after this. And I even told them, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make that haunted house. It almost feels like I should just go home. And they're like, yeah, probably. <laughs> they're like, a lot has happened here today. So that's what I did. But luckily on my drive home, I drove past this amazing house with all this Halloween stuff outside and I got some of that footage for you guys. So I'm super stoked about that. Granted, it wasn't this experience that I was gonna have of going inside this house that's just decorated to the max. Like it just seemed super incredible, but at least I got this little snippet that I'm showing you guys and it's super awesome. I was just driving by and I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. And it was all lit up and everything. And I, I flipped a Yui, turned around, got out of my car and filmed that. I was like, I can handle this. <laughs> Going to the haunted house and being around a lot of people and stuff. I just, um, I felt like I just needed to really soak in the experience that happened. And uh, so that's what happened. So I'm a little bit sad for the sake of this video. I really thought that would be so cool to share with you guys, but it's okay. It happened that's what happened something different happened and sometimes that happens so this is the protein spiced pumpkin pie one oh their holiday one yes it's tasty I just love the chocolate ones <laughs> the pumpkin spice isn't like oh there's oat milk in here this might be my first time trying oat milk. It tastes like there's oat milk in here. I think this is my first time trying oat milk, but I don't even know if it really counts because it's a blend of oat milk and coconut milk. Real pumpkin and warm spices. I do like it, but I wouldn't get it again. <laughs> There's other ones that are just so much better that I'd rather get. The chocolate ones are what's up. By the way, I drank those other two that I got and they were really good. I like the chocolate ones, but there's other ones I'm curious to try too. By the way, please sponsor me. <laughs> I just really like these. They're not sponsored at all. So yeah, anyways, sorry guys. We didn't get to do the thing that I thought we were gonna do that was gonna be really exciting, but it was just important for me to honor myself and what transpired that day and just come home and rest and soak in all the wonderfulness that was of that day. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Guess where I am? What do you think I'm doing here? I have to tell you what happened. It has to do with returning this. You're not gonna freaking believe <laughs> what happened. Basically, the freaking button popped off. Like, I hadn't even used it yet. Hi there. Yes, exactly. 
literally I had not even used the thing yet. I was just like playing around with it, looking at it and stuff and the freaking button popped off. And I'm like, that is not a good sign for lo the longevity of the device. And then I didn't want to give someone a faulty thing for their birthday, so I had to return them. I did the return here at Kohl's specifically because they offer a uh, return without having to box or label it. And that makes it easy. <laughs> they do it because they get you shopping here. Like they give you a 15% off coupon and I was in there and oh boy, I saw this thing I really like, but I'm like, I don't need that right now. But I do want it, it was really cute. Um, it was like this Wrangler fleece hoodie and it was a zip up and just like the fit of it was super cute. I tried it on, it was really cute. Anyways. I did not get it and um, I think I'm gonna end the video here. So thanks guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and uh, leave any comments you have down below and I'll see you next time.